nationwide push by firefighters to get PFAS chemicals out of the very gear designed to save their lives is a step closer to reality. This week, regulators approved new national standards for fire resistant equipment known as turnout gear to be made without the industrial chemicals. Firefighters say years of exposure are causing serious health problems for firefighters who have one of the highest rates of job related cancer deaths in the country. Here's New Center Maine's Vivian Lee. Personal protective equipment. Edward Kelly is a president of the International Association of Firefighters, which represents tens of thousands of firefighters and paramedics, including Mainers. He says exposure to toxic PFAS chemicals and protective equipment is fueling a cancer epidemic among those first responders. Cancer is killing firefighters. 75% of the names we put on the wall at our memorial out in Colorado Springs succumb to job related cancer. So there's the inner layer. That Turnout gear is three protective layers meant to keep firefighters safe from flames and heat. The inner layer is treated with PFAS chemicals to withstand very high temperatures. But fire departments can't switch out the gear because the national standards for fire resistant gear still includes toxic compounds. But after hearing from Edwards and other firefighters, the National Fire Protection Association Technical Committee earlier this week approved PFAS free turnout gear as a new national standard standard, allowing manufacturers to make safer equipment. I think everything that we can chip away at uh, is beneficial to the firefighter. A gun quit fire chief Russell Osgood says getting rid of PFAS chemicals is long overdue. He serves on a national firefighter cancer support network, educating first responders about the risks of the disease. But he says replacing the gear, which can cost up to $5,000 each, will be a financial burden that needs to be addressed as well. There's a lot of smaller fire departments that have gear that doesn't even meet the current standard. Uh, so changing the standard is one step. The next step would be to find the funding to replace everybody's turnout gear. Right now, Osgood says his firefighters only wear their turnout gear to calls that involve attacking fires. They also wash down their turnout gear and take showers to lower their exposure. Now, the new standards go into effect in 2025, and when the PFAS free turnout gear becomes available, the National Union plans to do independent testing to make sure it's non toxic and protects firefighters at the same time. Because they say the only hazards they should be facing when going out on a call are ones they aren't already carrying with them. In a gun quit, Vivian Lee, New Central Maine.